What is really going on in our world today? Let's take a look at some dictionary definitions. This is going to give us different languages and also provide us information about pronunciation and the origin of certain words. Negrophobia. That's one I never had a spelling test on. Therefore, it took me a little while to really grasp the definition of negrophobia. The fear of Negroes. Now we should all know that a phobia is an extreme or irrational fear of something. Now what is fear? That's something we've all experienced. Terror, fright, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous. It's a threat and could possibly be painful. A phobia is classified as a type of anxiety disorder. Since anxiety is the chief symptom experienced by the sufferer, it is generally held that phobias occur when fear produced by an original threatening situation is transferred to other similar situations with the original fear often repressed or forgotten. This is an excerpt from Britannica.com. The encyclopedia is basically telling us that something, a thought, uh, someone telling you that you should fear something has caused a panic attack that's now making you have real physical attributes. Now what could that be? Well likely it's a television you show you saw or you know your parents in some cases told you that Negroes should be feared. The saddest thing about this is according to anxiety.org, phobias Studies show that fear and phobias are hereditary and can be passed on to future generations. A new study published in the Journal of Natural Neuroscience used genetic sequencing of sex cells of a group of mice that had been conditioned to fear the smell of cherry blossoms. So what is this telling you, Negro Phobia is a conditioning. America's people have been conditioned through genetic implanting to fear the melanin in a person's skin. Here's what we have to consider now. That Anxiety Canada, the research there suggested that phobias can run in families in both genetic and environmental factors, natural and nurturing, can contribute to the development of a phobia. Now you're probably thinking, what am I really getting at here? What am I trying to say? That phobias are genetic. Memories can be passed down through generations and DNA. Memories can be passed down to later generations through genetic switches that allow offspring to inherit the experiences of their ancestors. One last thing, I talked to you earlier about the origins of words because that's important too. Let's consider that the origin of the word Negrophobia is Spanish and Portuguese. The first settlers in the United States, the first colonists, were actually Spanish and Portuguese. And that, my friends, is where this term originates. Negrophobia. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for the purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, 
education and research. Fair use is a use permit by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Fair use is a doctrine in the United States copyright law that allows limited use of copyrighted materials without requiring permission from the rights holders such as commentaries, criticism, news reporting, research, teaching, or scholarships. It provides for legal non-licensed citations or incorporations of copyrighted materials in other authors' work under a four-factor balancing test. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. Hit the bell notification so that you'll always be the first to know when new videos appear. Thanks for watching.